Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Lists. In this module, I want to show you how you can create additional views to help you manage and work with your list. So the default view is normal view. And if you click on normal view, you do get a few options um, like this one, list, which just moves it slightly. And if I click and go for compact list, it makes it compact as where it says on the tin. And then you've got the auto fit one, which I think it was on to start with. So they're all, all there already under this view. And you've got some other options down there that you can utilize. But where I want to go is where this little plus symbol is. Click on that and you get these other views. So you've got a list. I'm not going to do another list, but I've got calendar gallery board. I'll start with the board view. I'll click on board. I have to pick a column for it to group by. So I'm going to pick status and I'll call this. Let's call this board so it's got the same name. You click create and then it creates it like that. So status, two statuses sold and in stock. If I go back to normal view, you can see that status column three sold, two in stock. So that's what the board does. It groups it by that. Now, if I click on the plus again and go for gallery, click on gallery view, I'll call it gallery. So gallery, and then I'll click on create. And you'll see that as it just looks like the board view, but just side by side. So there's the board view, which is grouped. There's a normal view, which is a list. There's the gallery. Now the other one in there was the calendar view. So if I go for calendar and I'll just call it calendar. Now you've got some different options here. You've got like a work week week month etc etc you've got the fields that would generate the actual appointment if you like so received in and then that one needs to be sold when it was out and if i do it for week work week and then click on create let's see what that does so i've got two dates here look i click on the first one I'll just double click on that it should open up that one and you can see all the information about that item that was sold on that date. So if I click on the cross there, go back to the normal view. Now, if you want to get rid of any of these, you have to do it in settings. So, and that takes you into SharePoint, which sometimes can be a bit off putting. But if I click on the cog in the top right hand corner up there, you go into list settings and then you jump out of Microsoft lists into SharePoint. So you go down to the view that you want to delete. So let's say I want to delete the board view. I click on the board view and then it goes and gives me the options to delete the board view. I click on delete and it asks me if I'm sure. I click OK and then it will delete that, that view. And I'll come back to lists. Now if I just refresh that, that board view should have gone and it has gone. So I'll just do that again. I click on the cog and I want to get rid of the gallery. I'm going into list settings. So I'm in SharePoint now, so you get a bit more, a few more options. Uh, if I get rid of the gallery, click on it. And then delete the gallery. Click OK to that. And then that gets, gets rid of that. And we come back to it in SharePoint. So I'm not in lists. I'm not in Microsoft lists. So all the editing and deletion I did was in SharePoint and if I refresh that again, this gallery should go. There it's gone. So I've just got the normal view in the calendar. And if I come back onto the app launch in the top left hand corner and go back into lists and launch it through lists, which is that one, you can see that that's the same information. So the cog when you're in lists does not give you the same amount of options as what it does when you're in SharePoint. So that's all I want to cover in this little session, how you can create your own little views in Microsoft List and then how you can delete those views if you made a mistake and you didn't want them anymore. So hopefully this little video has been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.